All right, Flint snappers. I just went down to the river 20 minutes ago and I picked up what I think is uh, a big old slab of quartzite. Now there's a little chip I took out and I said, Ooh, that, that's quartzite of some sort. And it's just straight from the river. It's all wet, right? So it was partially submerged. Anyway, the, this part up here was sticking out of the water. You can see the water line. Okay. And that's probably going to be not too great. But then I also have a piece of uh, flint that is tabular. It's Edwards Plateau Chert. Uh, or Georgetown, one of the two. Some of the best that I could possibly use. Now I'm thinking of weighing uh, what I'm going to work with. That's the scale there. I don't know if it can handle this much weight though. So let's see. Uh, I, it, I know it can handle this one. So let's weigh that one. Why am I weighing them? Why do I want to? Because I want to see my yield. Uh, two pounds, 8.8 .8 ounces. You can't see it. Two pounds, nine ounces. Okay, so I'll be working this on video and we'll see how much yield I get from it. Okay, the final point, I'll make a blade out of it, hopefully. Uh, we'll see how much it weighs. Oops, already messing up. Uh, most of the time when I go looking for rocks, I find stuff that looks like this for hammer stones, just to recap. Where's my good one? This is granite. This is quartzite. This is uh, granite, but it looks rather old and decayed. And I don't know what that is. Maybe it's some kind of granite. It's greenish, so it probably isn't. It's probably that uh, argillite stuff. Anyway, this is what I normally find in the rivers here. Uh, this is mined and broken up by machinery, so it's used for erosion control. In the natural state, looks more like this I think I found this in the natural state but this looks like it could be a, a type of granite I use this as an abrading stone anyway normally I find this stuff this is what it looks like when I'm finding stuff in the river I also find sandstone no this is not sandstone this is a granite although I could be wrong it might be a sandstone it looks like granite though I mean this one probably is a sandstone and this one probably is a granite anyway that's what I normally find but once in a while I find these they're really cool and I don't know if they're brought in by people you know Native Americans or they're just very ancient tumbled river stones that are brought in by glacier activity or or what but once in a while I find these very smooth they feel polished uh, I'm gonna save this one because it's a perfect size for a mono or skull cracker I'm gonna save this one okay I just like it I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use it as a hammerstone but this one here I think I'll use this as a hammerstone it's got a nice end on it that I can use and then it's got a more narrow end so two end, the both ends are actually really nice for hammerstone work if it holds together okay when am I gonna start napping I don't know it's a mystery nobody knows place your bets nobody knows when I'm gonna start napping on these videos especially when I'm talking if I'm in the mood to talk or whatever it just rained, right? I just uh, snuck out of the van after it stopped raining. Picked this up from the river. 
I said, it's video time. Video time. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with a, the big hammer stone on it first. See what I can do. Normally I just start with it on the floor or the ground. So let's do that. Yeah. I don't put it on my knee usually. Or my leg, I mean. I don't have leg pads. Don't use leg pads. So don't ask. Okay. Don't ask me why I don't. And don't ask me to use it. All right. I don't know. Almost looks like a sandstone the way it's starting to abrade. Or maybe even a... Maybe even a chalk. I don't know. No, it's a quartzite. Oh, yes. Now, I'm going to try to make arrowheads out of it. Although it's very crumbly. Yeah, very, very crumbly. Let's see. Ooh, it feels like... It feels almost like a hard salt. So, I don't know. Can it hold the edge? Well, it feels like it can a little bit. Hmm, I don't know. This might be a good abrading material. Seems like there's a bunch of good abrading material out here. Which means I can make bone arrowheads. All this abrading material. When am I going to start napping? You missed it. I just broke off this piece. Is that gritty? Or is that powdery? I feel slightly gritty. Slightly. Can I abrade this stuff down to an arrowhead? It's a possibility. Yeah, I don't see any of these abraded though in the archaeological record. I don't see any of these abraded into arrowheads. Anything like this. All right, here we go. I'm gonna to try to knock off some useful spalls. And why don't I use a hammer or aluminum? Because I'm trying to do this all with natural tools. Yeah. Because they're better. <laughs> right, flint snappers? Uh, I really do want to use my Hammer. Let's see. How about a little billet? Can you think I can remove? This is a, a large, very large white tail antler beam. I just cut it yesterday or the day before. Everybody, everything's yesterday to me, so I gotta I think back what happened yesterday. Uh, it probably didn't happen yesterday, so maybe the day before. Anyway, not that it matters. You guys don't care. No, it doesn't matter. No, this is... Mm. I don't know. It's not going to work that well. All right, so let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I can knock off flakes. Might be in business, but it's crumbly, crumbly, crumbly. Look at that. I don't know. This might be, this might be a failed experiment. Although it's cool looking stuff. I don't know if I even want to mess with it no I don't even want to mess with it dang it I thought it was going to be cool 
I thought you're gonna be cool. I see how this is gonna go. Yeah, I see how this is gonna go. But just think of what I might be able to make from it by abrading it. Nice and flat. This is a braidery. This side is even more a braidery. I just need to take a brush and get out all that dirt. But that's going to wear down fast. That's going to get smoothened out fast. But maybe I can make a little abrading pad out of this. Yes, yes, yes. So it might, might, not, might not be a total loss. Here comes the rain again. I don't know if you can hear it. See? You see the little raindrops. Where am I? Where? What, what am I sitting in? What is this place? I will never tell. Not anymore. I've already explained it many times. You guys are just not tuning in. We're going to have to get filled in by someone else. Someone else tell them. I'm not going to tell them. All right. Let's see if we can get this, get some of this to a nap on video. I'm going to use the cruddy, the cruddy granite and the good granite. The cruddy granite almost feels heavier than the good granite. Uh, it's about the same, but this is, this feels heavier for some reason. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to use the granite and then I'm going to try using the, Hard hammer stone. Oh, let's see. How hard is it? Oh, it's very hard. First clue, it's so smooth. Yeah. This smooth one is probably harder than this one. Although, I don't know. This one is getting dented. So maybe not too hard. Yeah, all right. Oh, let's see. Yeah, watch the first little tink and the whole thing breaks in half, right? Hope not. Let's see. Ouch, that's, uh, that's hurting my skull. That sound is, the sound of good flint. I don't want to ruin it. I chose a softer hammer stone because I don't want to crush the edge. Ooh, it looks nice. Oh yes, it looks nice. So yeah, I'm gonna start whomping on the end here. I'm gonna make sure it's thick in the middle, which it is. I'm not gonna thin this out first before I thin down thin down the end. Right? For those who did not know, if you're gonna hit on the end, make sure the middle is thick. I see some guys go straight for thinning out the middle and then try to thin the ends out later and then smack it too hard and break it exactly in half. And I know they didn't want two pieces. Because that's not how you're supposed to spawn. And uh, yep, I'm trying to preserve as much length as possible. This is considered a medium grade, or what I consider a medium grade hammer stone. I don't, I don't anticipate any major problems. I don't anticipate any major problems that I would need a hard hammer stone to fix. And what major problems are that, you may ask? When a flake just doesn't want to detach, you can use a hard hammer stone to detach the flake that's stubborn. But I don't, I don't think there's going to be any stubbornness to this. 
because I went I went from this quartzite stuff, some of the worst stuff you could possibly nap to some of the best stuff you could possibly nap. So whatever you have is probably in between this. Somewhere in between. Why am I napping the extremes? Because no one wants to see what they have. They weren't, well, I can't say that. A lot of guys do want me to nap what they have so that they can have a reference point. I need a reference point, man. I don't know anything without a reference point. I need some sort of, what do they call it in statistics? I don't know. There's a term for the baseline. That's what it is. You need a baseline. So you know what you're dealing with. Somewhere to start. Somewhere to orient yourself. Because you may be napping. And a lot of guys that are new, this is what happens. They, uh, they're napping, but they have no baseline, no reference point. And they start developing habits that are not good. Because they think that they are napping a, just like somebody else is. Because they've been reading about napping. And they end up thinking that they've got stone that's, you know, 8 out of 10 on a 1 to 10 scale. I think it's great stuff for napping. They're actually napping a four as far as stone goes. And the guys that are watching are napping the eight or nine stones. They get lost and they wonder, why am I not avoiding step fractures? Why am I not avoiding smacking it in half? Why am I snapping it? Why am I a flint snapper instead of a flint napper? Something wrong with me. If you're having trouble with your material and you're just starting out, it's probably you, yes. But if you continue to have problems after about 400 pounds of stone, my reference, I don't know, how should I say it? My suggestion is don't even think about asking how to flint nap unless you've already broken up 400 pounds of stone. Then you can start asking how to flint nap. Because otherwise you have no reference. You're gonna, so, you know, a napper who's gonna teach you is gonna ask you how long you've been napping. And you, you nap in terms of poundage. How long have I been napping? I've been lap, napping 400 pounds long. Ah, oh, okay, I get you. I've uh, I've got five pound buckets. I mean, fifty gallon buckets. How much does that weigh? It's like I think between sixty and eighty pounds. Let's just say it's eighty pounds for a full five gallon bucket of dense flint or dense rock, a dense quartzite. Eighty pounds. All right. That's how many does at how many eighty pound buckets adds up to four hundred pounds? Five. Five full five gallon buckets. If you have napped less than that, don't even ask. You need some more experience because you won't even know how to apply what's being told to you. You need to get used to what rock breaks like. And if you have all different kinds of stone, not just one kind of stone, uh, it'll be better for you, but uh, some guys only have one kind of stone. So yeah, they've napped a bunch of it, 10 five-gallon buckets, and they still can't do what they do on the internet. And yeah, it's, it might be your stone. Moral of the story, after a long roundabout explanation, if you can't get what you want, or it's not going in the direction you want after all that, then yeah, you probably have stone that's difficult to nap.
and it's not wasting time because everyone goes through that you want to save time you want to save time then nap only heat treated rock and only obsidian you want to save time then that's it only heat treated rock and only obsidian or only glass or only something consistent then you'll save time but since this is a natural tool video and you guys are tuning in or thinking in natural tool terms and they, you want to learn the old ways most of you guys want to learn the old ways on local stone which is good fine perfect no complaints you have to realize that uh, your local stone is probably cruddy oh yes and you'll be wasting some time so to speak learning that <laughs> yeah I learned that my stone was cruddy it took me forever but I learned yeah unfortunately that's the way it goes now some guys are sitting on mountains literally big hills and big mounds of beautiful stone oh yes is it possible yes it sure is there's some guys that I know that live next to ranches in Texas that are literally covered with high quality chert literally pushed to the side as waste in mounds because of the farming huge quantities of high quality chert just sitting there yep and uh, the thing about that is once they learn it's high quality instead of napping it they start selling it <laughs> yeah that's the way it goes so what am I going to do here what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop yes I'm going to stop why because I'm getting the feeling that if I talk and try to do this I'm going to break it These pieces cost me way too much to be wasting on video. But I'll try a little bit more, then I'm going to stop. Yeah, I did weigh this, right? I am going to continue on video. Continue making this on video. But I'm going to pace myself. This is not going to be one of those rush through it videos. The previous blade that I made, believe it or not, it was rushed. Go back in my videos. The recent, most recent blade, uh, the hammer stoning in the beginning was rushed. And every process, every step of the way, I was... Uh, rushing it this one I'm going to take my time on it and if it feels like I'm going to break it if, if I talk I'm just going to not nap it on video after that point um, I may do a silent video So I won't break it. I can already feel from experience that this this is going to break pretty easily. Although there's no, I don't see any issues with cracks anywhere. Once I start thinning this down, yeah. Once I start thinning this down, the chances of breakage shoot way up. I got to, I've got to get the antler out also this is almost at the stage uh, to start using antler even if it has some cortex I can still I can still hit and do the zigzag uh, with antler 
and I, I might just do that. Now that I've got the ends thinned down, uh, this one's not thin enough, but uh, once, now that I have the ends thinned down, and I know what's in there, and it's very high quality stuff, I'm gonna take my time on it, and I, I might do a silent video. I've got a lot more to do today, so I'm kind of in a hurry anyway. I'm not going to be able to finish this out today. Yeah, antler. Antler will help me avoid these scoop outs. How does it help you avoid the scoop outs like that? Because it's it 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 grabs and pulls instead of smashing. Hammer stones are very smashy. Antler is not as smashy, although you can. And you probably see me doing it on video. If you're a long time watcher. I have smashed edges with antler. It's less likely with antler to smash the edge. In my experience. Although you can start to control it and uh, have less smashing with hammerstone. But see, this is already getting worn down a lot. I took a big chunk out of it earlier. I only have this one. This, let's see. And this piece. With this type of medium hammerstone. So I'm already, I'm already having to go look for some more. I need to go pick up some more of these. Okay, so I'll leave it like this. Let's see. I got a blade for reference here. Uh, this one is a much lower quality than this. But I think I'll be able to get a blade very similar in size to this with natural tools. Same thickness. So let me just get the scale out I'm guessing right this is this is optimistic yeah it's pretty optimistic but I think I can get it so just to give you an idea so you guys are not out in the out floating in, in uh, purgatory Let's see 5.2 ounces so we can do the math on it all right why did I mention this was poor quality uh, because uh, when it's poor quality I'm not able to thin it down as much I can only get this a little bit thinner than it is right now but if I'm using natural tools on this with high quality stuff this is high quality I'm gonna end up with the same basic shape as a low quality with high quality tools low quality flint with high quality tools gives me that thickness high quality flint with low quality tools probably give me the same and yes natural tools are low quality sorry uh, there are much better tools than and they're in hammer stones but anyway I think that'll give you an idea. What else? What else can I do today? Yeah. I'll use that hammer stone eventually. And uh, I think I'm going to retire this one immediately to the grinding platform stack. I got one of... I got a big one, I think, is of, uh, uh, it's not shale, I don't know what it is. And then I got one of granite, I got one, this one of quartzite, and I have another one of argillite, but the argillite one's smaller than this. Anyway, plenty of grinding stones now. I'm going to be grinding some shale here in a little while, later this week probably, show you how to grind shale and slate to make arrowheads and yes they did use those uh, 
All right, I think that's it. Auction is tomorrow. I gotta, I gotta hurry up and make some more stuff. Okay.